Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome finally to a new episode of making a Toon C. On the last lesson we made the plane, we animated a plane uh, with a cloth simulation and in this lesson it's going to be quite short, we're going to make a seamless texture that means it can be repeated but we cannot see the seams, we cannot see where it gets repeated and to do that it's very easy with Photoshop if you have some other tool like GIMP uh, you probably can do it as well but I'm going to base this tutorial on Photoshop so I'm going to make a new image 512 pixels times 512 pixels and I'm going to create three layers okay so the first layer is going to be our base color so we just choose a color for our for our sea our water uh, and I'll just I'm not very good at picking color but it's something like this and I'm just going to fill all the background with that then on our that's our bottom layer then our top layer we're going to make the the bubbles on the seawater so I'm just going to use a white color and I'm going to use the brush and with size like 20 we're going to do random random patterns around the around the, the image you can do something like that you can follow me or do your own patterns or do your own design here I'm just focusing on the technical aspect and you can decrease the size of your brush a little bit and just do something like connecting and if you want this is an alternative step you can in the bot in the middle layer you can add a very deep blue like this and then you can paint as well uh, oops you can paint uh, maybe this is too deep or you can just color pick just color pick the base color and then uh, make it darker by using this here just drag it down and then you can make some patterns as well it's just to simulate some depth in the water now the next thing we want to do is make this seamless so to do this uh, it's very easy we use a filter here on the top bar in our Photoshop top menu we go to filter other and then offset and if you remember our image is 512 times 512 so we want to offset this by half on, on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis so that will be 256 and 256 and if you notice we can see the seams what well, actually what we did was bringing the sides of the image to the center and we got something like this so right now what we want to do is get all these seams to be smooth connected together and that will make our texture be seamless so then we will repeat the step for the other layer and we're done so I'm going to grab my brush again there you go so now that we fix this if we reapply the offset so with the same values now you see we have added the texture but we make sure that the white strokes we painted are seamless and we do the same for the second layer so we reapply the offset the offset should be the same and if we want to work easily we can set the top layer to invisible so we can just work with the seams brush 35 and just connect some very fast random things but it should work so if we reapply the offset now we have something like that and that's how you make a seamless texture now let's put it back into our plane and we'll be done for this lesson so I'm going to save this I'm just going to save it in the desktop as tune c underscore seamless underscore texture and I want to save this as a JPEG so we just say like this we open unity and we want to get that from the desktop so we just go here 
we put it into our assets folder and we just drag it into our our plane so let's drag it and we have it there so right now it's just one texture it's not being repeated so we want to make sure that we go here uh, when we drag the texture it automatically created a material for us and you see we have secondary maps we have the main maps and we have tiling and offset and what tiling means is that how many times we repeat it uh, on each axis uh, so we want to repeat this few times on each axis to get the following result so right now you see because our texture is seamless it repeats and we cannot see the cuts on each repetition so pretty much that's it for making the texture you can do some other textures if you want or maybe you're you're not doing an SC, but maybe you're doing a pool of lava or something like that and that will work pretty well too if we click play i i think i don't like the shader i think i'm going to change the shader because it's too bright and i don't think that should be like that maybe i'm going to use a legacy shader and diffuse and i can make it a bit darker uh, like this yeah like this much better so yeah, that's how we make the seamless texture remember it's very easy just use the offset tool on photoshop or if you have any other tool like gimp or paint.net just use the offset tool and make sure that uh you can't see the seams anywhere and then just tile it and that's how we get the texture thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoy this i'm going to teach you how to make objects float on the sea on the next lesson so stay tuned and i will see you next time Goodbye.